My name is Maureen Maloney and I'm a lecturer in management at NUI Galway. I've lived in this house for the last six years, but I lived in the house next door, which um, belonged to a cousin of mine for about almost 20 years before that. When I lived in Pittsburgh, I grew up in the suburbs, and that was very different um, than where I live now because I'm in a, in a rural area here. So um, if you look around my house, you really, sometimes I don't see another light from another house close by. If I drive, I usually leave here before seven o'clock in the morning, and I usually get to Galway about an hour later. Um, and if I don't drive, I take the bus. So then I would leave here at about 20 past seven in the morning. I get to go away about a quarter to nine if there isn't much traffic. Um, when I travel on the bus, um, I have my laptop and most people um, think that it's like the extension of my office. I love the, the peace and the quiet of being in the country. And I kind of like the freedom that it gives you. So if you're in an area like this, you can be eccentric and nobody really takes much notice of it because you're kind of surrounded by eccentricity. My name is Owen Butler Thornton. I am an usher at the Town Hall Theatre and I'm a student at Pulse College. Go. The journeys I make most often would be uh, from my house into town and back. Um, I rarely make any other journeys these days. <laughs> I kind of tend to just cycle from my house uh, into around about Air Square somewhere is where I park my bike in the morning and then um, from work I'll cycle right back um, and that's, that's pretty much my commute. I, I cycle instead of walking because cycling is faster obviously um, and when it's cold and wet it's nice to kind of first of all get through it really quickly and secondly to do something that kind of gets your blood pumping a bit so as not to freeze. I need to get some gloves. Um, the kind of infrastructure around Gowie, and in fairness in most Irish cities, doesn't really cater for cyclists at all. I would like to listen to music because I tend not to, um, but that's also really dangerous. Um, my least favorite thing about cycling is definitely the fact that everybody hates cyclists. <laughs> I just don't have the time or the bother to go and get a license or a car. Um, I definitely don't have the money for a car. I think when I'm moving somewhere, there's something about like uh, having a direction or going from A to B that kind of like um, frees up your mind a little bit more, which is nice because um, I tend to get stuck in my head quite often. You know, taking a cycle sometimes is a, a bit of a breather from that. It kind of you know uh, releases my head from that sometimes. My name is Mark. I'm from a city near San Francisco called Vallejo, but nobody knows it, so I just say I'm from San Francisco. I go to a university back home in America, and I'm here as an exchange student at NUIG, and I'm studying theater. I don't think I've adapted to the weather. I think I still miss the sunshine. I tried to prepare myself, but then I learned that being prepared for the weather makes you look foreign, so then I became really self-conscious about that. It's really easy to navigate Galway because it is it is a city, but it's really compact. I feel like if I ever get lost, if I just keep walking, I'll end up back where I was anyway. So walking just kind of became the best means to get around. I just walk everywhere. You guys don't name any of the streets. Here, you have to tell them the landmark you're next to, and they have to know where that thing is to be able to meet with you. People just seem a lot more introverted here. Like, when people are walking, they're either looking like straight up towards the skyline of buildings or straight down towards the ground. They don't really make eye contact when they pass people by. I always think about, am I sticking out or am I fitting in? Can people tell that, you know, I'm foreign? I fluff my hair a lot to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. Home is too big of a word because I think I would absolutely need my family here with me to feel like it's home, but it feels like an extension of home because now I have friends and I feel like 
when I leave, people will remember me. 